So, when you come closer to God, His Word will engulf you. It will open your spiritual eye. You will see everything Satan is doing in this world. Lost to Satan. My goodness. Now, who are the prophets? Are they, they are the New Testament ones, not the old. Because they came after the apostles. If you put prophets and apostles, that's the Old Testament prophets. If you put apostles and prophets, they're New Testament prophets? Of course. Let's read in 1 Corinthians 14, 3. It's not on the screen. 1 Corinthians 13, 14, sorry. 1 Corinthians 14, 3. St. Paul says this. But he who prophesies, speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. Wow. But he who prophesies, that's the New Testament, prophesies, speaks edification, exhortation and comfort to men. He who prophesies in the New Testament does three things. Edification one, exhortation two, comfort to men three. Let's look at this. Prophets of the New Testament speak edification. What is edification? Improving, instructing, and enlightenment of others. Improving others, instructing others, and enlightening other people's life. That's edification. What's exhortation? Strongly encouraging or trying to persuade people to do things of good nature. Strongly encouraging or trying to persuade people to do things of good nature and giving number three giving comfort to people New Testament prophets do the following teach encourage and comfort people How by preaching the word of the Lord Jesus to people when you when you are sitting with people and you start talking to them about the Lord, you start sharing the word of the Lord Jesus with them, what are you doing to them? You are teaching them, you are instructing them, and you are comforting them. Because the only one who can teach is God. The only one who can instruct is God. The only one who can comfort is God. His God, God gave His Son to be everything in our life so the the prophets of the new testament teach encourage and comfort people by preaching the word of god to them now the question is do we see ourselves as the prophets of the new testament where are we in relation to new testament prophets do we talk to people which god gave us about him about god Mom, do you share the Lord Jesus with your family? Dad, do you share the Lord Jesus with your family? Brother, do you talk to your family, to your other siblings about the Lord? Cousin, do you talk to your cousins about the Lord? Church, do you talk to the flock about the Lord or do you talk about investments? By the way, we've got billions of dollars in assets we've got millions and billions of dollars in cash we are a rich church you are rich with material but you are poor in spirituality the lord jesus did not die for me and you to build him churches of bricks and mortar jesus died for me and you to bring and build people and hearts for him not brick and mortar. Are we the New Testament prophets? Do we share the Lord with everyone that comes our way? Do we talk about people? Did you know in the good olden days, I'm not sure if it was done in the, uh, a tradition in the West, but in the East, where I come from, I can tell you this. When somebody visited someone at their place, the moment they entered the house, the visitors, the visitors when they entered the house, they would ask the owners of that house to bring them the Holy Bible. This was tradition in the good olden days. Bring us the Holy Bible. Before sitting down, 
before drinking a glass of water, before eating anything in that house, bring me the Holy Bible. Let me read a verse or two to everyone in this house. They started the visit with the word of the Lord. And what happened? Everybody started talking about the Lord. Everybody became enlightened, taught, instructed, and comforted. It's not the food and the drinks that comfort you and teach you. It's the word that feeds you and enlightens you. Today we visit homes straight away. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh, you sit straight away. And the first thing, I came to tell you something. What is it, darling? Did you know Rachel just got divorced? What's it to me? Rachel got divorced. John married three times. What's it to me? Talk to me about the Lord. Talk to me about the Lord. Feed me the Lord. Show me the Lord. Teach me the Lord. Enlighten me with the Lord. I pray Rachel never gets divorced. <laughs> Just the name came. I'm really sorry, Rachel. No offense. <laughs> I always pray for you to remain single. Uh, I mean, if you're married, if you're married, I pray you stay married. If you're not, please don't ever get married. Thank you very much. Just kidding, not. Okay, here we go. Um, so we need to share the Lord and His Word with everyone. Family, come together to that table with the word of the Lord. Thank the Lord for the food. Thank the Lord for the health. Thank the Lord for the day. Thank the Lord for little things. Because if you, can, if you can thank him for the little things, you will definitely thank him for the big things. You will. The difference with the Old Testament prophets, what was their role? The Old Testament prophets, all they did, delivered the message from God to people which hasn't happened as yet. Whatever that event, it was futuristic. So all they did, the Old Testament prophets, were to deliver a message of God to the people of their time, telling them something is going to happen in the future. That's it. But the New Testament prophets, no, we teach, we instruct, and we comfort people with the Word of God. Because since God was revealed in the flesh, there is no more prophecies futuristic. The future is here. The honor of the past, present, and future is with us now, now, now. So prophecy is telling people about the Lord Jesus, sharing the word of God with everyone. This is the prophets of the New Testament. Oh, oh.